Hey everybody, welcome back to another of Lyson Ring's favorite flies. This one's the Coachman. Uh, the Coachman's a very old fly uh, credited to a Tom Bosworth uh, in the UK in 1830. Uh, he was a coachman. Uh, he was actually a royal coachman, uh, coachman to m many different aristocrats. The original fly was a peacock body, brown hackle for legs and beard, and a white wing. Eventually, later, the coachman uh, was edited by, by Tom himself to have a gray wing, uh, which he called the lead wing coachman. And then going forward, of course, all kinds of variations come about. Uh, including the Royal Coachman, which has uh, uh, red floss for in, between, in, in the middle of the peacock body. And then we have the Dry Fly, uh, Royal Wolf, etc., etc. Tons and tons of different variations um, of the Royal Coachman. Uh, but the Coachman is definitely a, a, a famous pattern and a great fish catcher, and here is Lyson Ring's version. So his is orange silk, bronze peacock curl. I, br I busted out the real stuff this time. Uh, this is not dyed peacock curl. This is the, the real stuff that's um, naturally bronzed. As I'm winding it up, you may have noticed that I wrapped it around the thread and twisted it on almost like dubbing. That uh, is the technique that Lyson Ring used in, uh, to, to wrap pearl bodies, including the crow fibers uh, in his black gnat. And uh, if you've watched the other videos or you're going to watch uh, videos that have peacock curl in them or you're going to watch my black gnat video, I did not do that, and that's a mistake. The, uh, the correct method uh, that Lyson Ring would have used is, is what I just did. Uh, where you twist it around the thread and then wrap it up, and that reinforces it. The uh, hackle here is rooster hackle, and uh, he says red. I don't think he means dyed red. Uh, so this is a uh, this is a hackle from a Whiting Four B uh, furnace cape. is a It's a cape in uh, where the the feathers are really intended. I think for streamers or really big bugs. But the small ones up uh, up close to the head portion of the of the cape uh, are not furnace, and they're and they're just like a like a really bright shiny red. Uh, so I used one of those and wrapped it Lyson ring style, where you tie it in by the base and wrap back to the to the waiting silk. And uh, so I'm uh, tightening up against that now in preparation for the wing. He used land rail for land rail slips for the wing. Land rail is a protected species now. It's not. It's not a bird you can buy. Uh, there's obviously available uh, from vintage um, collections used land rail. I guess you could call it, or or you could go with taxidermy. Land rail must have been much more common or widely available back then. The uh, color of land rail uh, quills has has almost this, I guess, reddish, rusty, rusty, gingery brown kind of color to it. Uh, so it's a little more in the lead wing family, and with with a little bit more of a rusty red kind of tinge to it. What I use there are slips from what's called a peacock support feather. Not not so easy to get either, uh, but I got them from Cook's Hill uh, to tie a, a Cutcliffe pattern that uses uh, fibers from that feather to wrap as the body. Um, but the color, the color eh, seemed to kind of match. The other substitutes people use that, you know, uh, are a good color match is chuckar, which is a, a, a type of partridge from the U.S. that you can buy. And the, the tail f uh, feathers of that or 
uh, even secondary. I have a chucker, and the tail seemed very hard to work with. Mine's tail kind of sucked. Uh, but the secondary feathers on the wing of mine kind of match that color. Another another option, of course, uh, not of course, but that I looked at for land rail was uh, French partridge wings. Uh, the the primaries or secondaries from a French partridge, you know, depending on what you have, are not too far off either. And um, otherwise, you know, again, you could use duck quills or or, or just just make it a lead wing. Um, but yeah, there. So the orange silk makes the head. Just whip finish there. You know, as always with wings, you gotta you gotta touch them a lot, uh, primp them, check them out. Uh, but we got three sixty going around now. It's a, it's it's a really beautiful pattern actually. Uh, here, I do have a Landrail set. That's uh, the one on the card that I keep just in the collection for for my collection. But on the right is the Chuckar. On the left was the uh, the Peacock support feather. And there you can see a close-up. Hopefully, you know, depending on the background and the lighting, sometimes it looks gray or reddish. Thank you. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. Always want to know. Thank you. Bye.